Prize and a bit of a treat, Battle Royale, the mod of the moment. Now if you haven't played this then, I really do suggest you do. Great fun. 25 players join a server and your objective is just to kill every other person there. Now as you can see you spawn in a big circle. At the centre of this circle there's loot, loot a plenty. Not really high grade stuff but enough to kill people because you start with nothing, absolutely nothing. But only the foolish go to the middle. And it seems in this round there's plenty of foolish people. Look at that clusterfuck. About four or five of them ended up dead. Before I explain any more about the mod I'm going to give you a couple of tips on how to actually get on the server because it is really rammed at the moment. What you need to do is launch with Days Commander. Don't worry about launching into a server and trying to get on with Commander, that's the last thing you do. You just launch the game so it sets up all the parameters, the add-ons are correct, etc. Once you get in, you go to the Armour Browser. You then choose Filter, put Battle Royale in, sort by players so the smallest numbers at the top, and then you just flick in between them using the arrow keys up and down. That'll do a quick refresh and you do it on the smallest numbers. So once it's down to a single player, the server's ready for a reboot. And that'll happen pretty quickly but instead of doing what we were doing before, you hit the refresh button at the bottom and that will refresh all the servers and then you'll see a little yellow symbol come up next to one. Double click it and you'll get in with a bit of luck. Look how fast this loads up with players. I've made it to this little town with an industrial area and I've got no weapon at all. Well, fortunately there's a bike here, a motorbike, and I jump on it because just up the top of that hill there, there's a couple of players. looks to me there's way too many people in the town and they're armed so I get the hell out of there and find this little compound nestled away on the top of a hill. Amen. Let's start talking now just because you're out of bullets. You know, this could break your legs, so I'd watch out. You had a CCO in your backpack, you dickhead. So he had no bandages, but my bleeding stopped miraculously, and he had a blood bag, so that helped me out no end. I've got to bring the map up here because after the 35 minutes, which is where we're at now, this blue circle gets ever decreasing. You have to stay inside its boundaries. 
Now the purpose of this blue circle is obviously to push players together, increase the chance of combat and finish the round. Now if you stay outside the circle, the punishments aren't great, the zombies spawn. I'll show you that a bit later. Now you might think it's just find a gun, kill everyone, easy mode. It's not. You seem to burn through food and drink a lot quicker than normal. I needed about three food and drink for this round, and it could last 90 minutes, so you've still got to loot up. Now let's have a quick look at the player count. We're an hour in. It's something I wish you perhaps couldn't do in this to, to know how many people are left, but there's ten other people. That makes nine, I guess. Now, as the map gets ever smaller, I'm finding it increasingly difficult to stay inside the playing zone. And if you don't, this is what happens. You get absolutely swarmed with zombies. Now, I recorded this footage from another round, and that's why all the weapons and stuff are different. But it just shows you what, what happens. You get totally covered in zombies, and if they hit you, you are pretty much fucked. Now, I would like to see something a little bit more harsh than this. If you go outside the playing zone, you should start losing health pretty rapidly. Now, the reason I say this is zombies are usually quite easy to deal with. So if you stay outside the blue zone, you haven't got players to worry about, just zombies. Back to my original character and bring the map up and have a look at the size of the circle. It's down to about two kilometers across, and half of that's in the sea. So, how many players have we got? Eight in total. Here we go, another look at the circle. It's down to about a kilometre across. About the second smallest, I think it is. And, yeah, you start, you start, the adrenaline really starts to pump now. two more players dead there. That means there's only five left and at this stage you really do think you're going to win it. So unfortunately in my first game I didn't make it as the winner but in my next game, well I'll show you. This is the map and this is the size the circle goes down to and we've got, what is it, four players left. Let's just see how this one plays out. <laughs> So that's one down, just two left.
Uh, insert appropriate swear word here. That's not bad, I suppose. Third there, and fifth in the first round. Anyway, I shall be bringing you some more of this. Catch you next time, guys.